Hi friends, I bought this device here. It is TTP223B capacitive touch sensor. And in this video, we're gonna see what we can do with it. We're gonna be experimenting a little bit with it and we're gonna try to tweak it a little bit. We can use this sensor in order to start something just by touching it. By using this sensor, we can start some small loads, but we can also use its signal pin in order to start a relay or some other components that can start some bigger loads, as you can see in this example here. So it has three pins, VCC ground and the signal pin. We need to have five volts in order to drive it. So the signal pin is the output of it. Let's see its default behavior. When I touch it, I'm triggering the relay and I'm using the multimeter just to show you that the relay is being activated. As you can see, it works as a simple taster. I've got some ideas to use this sensor in one device here in my home to, to start it, but its default behavior cannot help me. As you can see, it works as a simple taster. When I, when I touch it, it starts the relay, but when I release the, the finger, it uh, turns off the relay. That is not something that I like. I want to use it as a switch. It can be easily solved by using a microcontroller, but I don't want to use a microcontroller for such small projects. I think that using a microcontroller for such small projects is an overkill, and I'm not a fan of it. I was searching on the internet and I found some great articles that can eventually help me to achieve it without needing to use some extra things. So let's see what we need to do in order to tweak its default behavior. So the first thing that we need to do is to cut these two lines here coming from this uh, component and connect these two dots. And here it is. I did the changes that we were talking about, soldered this wire here and cut the pads. So now we can use it as a switch. So let's see. As you can see, it works as a switch. And we don't need to use any other components nor microcontrollers. So we can use just the sensor and use the signal pin that it outputs and trigger something, which is great. So that's it. Thank you guys and bye bye.